Hello, this is Gordon from TaraWorks. In the last video, I've shown you how to create new records through field mapping. But what happens if you want to change something? For example, what if someone changed their name and address? Can TaraWorks create a specific record if it is found and insert a new one if it is not? This behavior is called upserting, a cross between the words update and insert. And TaraWorks can definitely do an upsert. This video will show you how to do that. Now this video builds upon the field mapping shown in the last video. So if you haven't seen it yet, you strongly advise to do so. So what I've done is to clone the original survey so I don't have to redo the field mapping. And it is also much easier for you to see the contrast. The key to an upsert is the drop down box called ID field. It is called an ID field because you're telling ToroWork which field you wanted to look at to identify the record that you wish to update. Let's click it and take a look. Notice that not all fields in the contact object are shown. This is because 1. Not all fields are eligible to be chosen as the ID field. Only record name, fields marked as unique, or external IDs can be used as an ID field. Also, last name of contact record are eligible to be used as ID fields. Second, only fields that's already mapped will show up in the dropdown. So here, if I unmap the respondent ID, you will no longer see it in the ID field as an option. For this video, I'll also choose the respondent ID. This means that if I enter a matching value, I can edit that record. Now I'm going to save and publish this survey and then include this in a job. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to skip forward. Okay, now I'm back into the field with a new job. Notice it doesn't look any different from the last job. Now what we want to do here is update Daddy. Turns out that he changed his name. So we'll enter Daddy's respondent ID. Remember that is set as the ID field. So we'll enter Daddy's ID number and then change his name. He changed his name to Xavier Sanatos. Now, he's still a mister, but since that didn't change, we'll just leave it blank. And this is the key for upsert in TaraWorks. If you don't want to change anything, just leave it blank. Since Xavier hasn't changed his city or his description, we can leave that blank too. But there's no way to blank the date question. This is a limitation and it means that it would have to be entered again to keep the value the same. Save and sync. And voila. Refresh the record and then you'll see that it has been updated. While the other value remains the same. Remember, to upsert, set the ID field in the field mapping tab of the survey. Only fields that are record names or fields set as unique fields or external ID fields or last name of contact are eligible to be chosen as an ID field. Only fields already mapped to a question can be chosen as an ID field, and if there no match are found, ToroWorks will try to insert a new record instead. Now to update a field, just enter a new value. To keep value of a field the same, just don't answer that question. Finally, date and time questions cannot be blank, and will overwrite values unless care is taken. It is also not possible to directly erase a field using ToroWorks upsert. For more information, please refer to TaraWorks documentation. Thank you very much for watching.